It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Last of Us on HBO. On this video, I'm going to be sharing my expectations and predictions for the video games adaptation on HBO. So stay tuned. We'll be right back to break this down. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. So when it comes to the main storyline, I don't think that they're going to be changing a lot. I feel like they're going to stay true to the video game storyline as far as the Joel and Ellie story and everything surrounding that particular story. Everything we've seen in the teasers, trailers definitely proves that they're definitely staying true to the video game storyline as far as the main story is concerned. But where I do see them changing things a little bit or at least expanding on it a little bit is when it comes to the apocalyptic nature of the story itself. Like the virus, like the cordyceps fungus that spread. So I'm definitely expecting to see a little bit into the origins and you know how that came about and how it got out of control. Obviously on the channel we have covered a lot of the behind the scenes stuff and some of that behind the scenes definitely hinted that that is definitely coming up. So I'm definitely expecting them to kind of give us a little bit of the backstory of the origin of the cordyceps fungus and as part of that I'm gonna make a bold prediction and say that we might get some variation of the different types of monsters that we saw in the video game. So obviously in the video game there were the clickers, the shamblers, the bloaters, and the infected. I feel like in the TV adaptation we are gonna see a few more types of these variants that we didn't see in the video game to keep it fresh. If not that, they might change the way some of these monsters behave just to keep it fresh and different. I'm not expecting a huge difference, but I'm expecting something that they might add in to keep the two sort of separate as far as their video game counterpart and their TV show adapted counterpart. Now, honestly, I'm expecting that more with maybe the shamblers and the bloaters and less with the clickers and the infected, which were more common in the game. And obviously we're gonna see a lot more of those in the TV adaptation as well. Now when it comes to the characters, I am expecting them to keep Marlene and Tess stories more or less similar in the TV adaptation, but I am expecting them to expand on their characters and their backstories just a little bit. Specifically with Marlene, I feel like we're going to get a bit more into her backstory and how she ended up being in the position that she was in at the Fireflies organization. And likewise, I feel like we're gonna get a bit more backstory as far as Joel and Tess relationship and you know, a bit more into how they met and how their stories kind of came together. Speaking of which, another key change, which was definitely confirmed in the latest trailer is Ellie's backstory or Ellie's past. We're obviously gonna get a glimpse into who Ellie's mother was and what her life could have been like before Ellie was born. So definitely expecting some backstory into her life as well, which might obviously have some parallels and similarities to Ellie's story. And obviously the reason why they might want to do that is to keep the story flowing and not really interrupt the flow of the story just to give us a backstory. Now, another key change that we are definitely going to see is an expansion of the story that we saw in the game with the hunters. The hunters are obviously going to be a bigger player in the story, in the TV adaptation, and we're obviously going to get an expanded glimpse into how they came to power, and we're going to learn about who they are and how they operate. And another thing that was teased at in the trailers is... We're going to get some story about who the leader of that organization is and what their goal is and what they're really trying to achieve. Something that we obviously didn't really see in the video game itself. 
But aside from that, I'm not expecting any more major changes and anything else. I'm expecting them to really deliver the main story the way that it was in the video game. I'm definitely hoping and I have a feeling they are gonna do it justice and kind of give us the story that we fell in love with in the first place in the video game. Obviously based on everything I've talked about and everything that they've teased as far as keeping things fresh and not really making it a shot by shot adaptation. I am expecting them to expand on the stories when it makes sense and doing more character development and building up the characters more than they did in the video game. Mainly the side characters and not necessarily Joel and Ellie themselves because they got proper development already in the video game. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.